Hi everyone, welcome back. So today's video, I want to give you a super clean hairline wig install with this new upgraded pre-plucked hairline wig. Now today's video is a reinstall. I want to show you how to slay that hairline and melt it easily and effectively. So if you want to see that, let's jump right in. My name is Marie. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. So we're going to start off with a reinstall today. This is what the hairline of this wig look like. I have already bleached the knots. I've already styled this wig previously. However, we're going to reinstall and I'm going to show you how to melt your lace without the lace attached. So I'm going to be using the Wonder Lace Bond Spray. Now I've been using the red can a lot lately. There's no reasoning why I've been using it. I've just been grabbing it, but I still do have my black can and my yellow can. So what I'm doing is spraying this around my hairline I am not doing the ball cap method I don't need it I only have on a wig cap and my hair is braided down flat so I like to go ahead and just let that sit for a second with the dryer just until it's sticky and then I'm going to take the lace and push it down onto the hair now this wig install is going to be very simple because usually once you've done everything you need to do as far as bleaching the knots and the hairline already comes like this, it comes super pre-plucked. All you have to do from here on out is just install your wig as you see me doing. Now instead of taking my fingers and pressing the lace and you know trying to make the lace stay down what I'm going to do instead is take my sleigh band and put it around my hairline. This is going to hold that lace and melt it into place so that once I have my hairline dry all I have to do is just remove it and the melt is done okay so if you ever do a reinstall and you find that your lace has pieces lifted or anything like that it's most likely because you did not tie down that hairline so definitely do that especially with a reinstall because sometimes the lace can you know be frayed or this band definitely helps so I will be sure to link it below in the description box So this wig does come with a new hairline like we talked about. It's also a body weight texture. I got the length in a 14 inch and this is a 360 lace front, okay? So you can get it in any inch between, I believe 10 inch all the way to 24. But I love the hair on this wig because it's so comfortable and it's easy to style. Once you set your curls, especially if you use rollers, this will last you like as you can see i still have some curls in the hair from the last time that i styled it so it's really really nice so i'm using my t3 curler and you guys it's been so long since i picked up a curling iron <laughs> so i just wanted to do something that was simple and get me out the door now i love 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 the fact that with this particular wig on this particular day i did not feel like putting on any makeup and the wig still looked amazing. So when you get the right length, when you have a great hairline on your wig and you style it in a really simple style, you can get the most natural look that you can. And a density on this wig, I believe is 150%. Now they may have an option for you to change the density if you would like, or get to get a custom density, you have to contact them. I will be sure to put this wig link below in the description box. You can read up on all the details, but yeah, I really, really like the way everything turned out. And it was very simple to reinstall. As you can see, if you just take the simple steps that I show you in today's video, I promise you, you do not need to do like a lot of work a lot of people think wigs are a lot of work when in reality the only amount of work you have to put in is when you first get it when you come when it comes to like bleaching the knots after that today's video is a complete example of what a reinstall would look like okay so i'm just going to go ahead and open up this parting i'm using my hot comb to do that i don't care what anyone says i would never stop using the hot comb on my wigs like when i tell you the hot comb gives you the clean look and it sets that party I've, I've tried okay i can't do it i'm going to continue to use the hot comb on my wig so you guys drop me some comments let me know are you still using the hot comb or have you put it to the side what do you think now to be honest i've tried the electric hot comb and the oven i feel like the oven hot comb is so much better however it's very 
like there's no temperature so you have to be careful on how long you leave it in I kind of have an idea now on how to do that so just be careful if you use the oven okay so what I'm doing now is opening up that parting I talked about this in a previous video how important it is to flatten down that parting area and to lay down the area around the hairline maybe with some gels just to make sure you don't have any lace pieces that's sticking up we shouldn't but if you did, this is a simple way to just make this area look like it's melted and your wig is growing out of your scalp, okay? You know, I obviously got some habits that I don't know. Like me patting the side of my head right now. <laughs> I didn't realize until playback that I was like into it. Like I was making sure that lace was laid flat. Anyways, you guys. So if you like my nails, I am going to be putting up a tutorial on how to create um my nail set that i did so i'm not sure i think i may put it on my second channel like the full tutorial and when i may post some of it on this channel so you guys if you like my nails definitely let me know we're going to do a nail set for um june because since this is the beginning of the month because i did change up my nail set as you can see all right so that's basically it i'm just taking my edge brush and pushing back the strands of hair that may have you know just got stuck in the glue just making sure everything is clean but this is basically it you guys drop me some comments let me know what you think about today's style talk to me in that chat box below this video and everything will be linked below the video in the description box just click the show more button um, and you should see all the links. And I thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your love and your continued support. And I will see you back probably next week for a new video. Thank you guys so much. Mwah.